Hi, I'm Sammy of Heavy Metal Television. We're here in Windlock with Insight. Um, we'll just jump straight into the questions. So, how's it going, guys? Kick ass. Yeah? Oh, man, so many cool friends. So many cool friends. Where are you guys meeting from? Everywhere. Where are you going next? San Diego. San Diego. Rick Last. by Rick. San Diego. Last show of the tour. Yeah, with these guys, and then we do a headline gig at the Complex for Father's Day. It's going to be the Father's Day massacre. Like Bring Father's your pops out. Come rage. No, yeah. no. Yeah. So, no, it's been killing. What's been your worst and best tour? On this tour? Any exciting oh, box There's box the worst. And I'll let him take Taking it. Taking a shit in the trailer. What did I do? We have worse than that. <laughs> yeah, uh, what's worse than that? Key in the ignition. Oh, oh my god. So. Key in the ignition. Oh, yeah, I put the wrong key in the ignition the other night and it broke off. And no, no, in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Like yeah. you have. At and 3 a.m. At 3 a.m. So and there this, was no one. And this metalhead. Locksmith chick rescued us at 5.30 in the morning after 45 calls in a row. Yeah, Richie called. I called her four times. Richie called her 45, and that's not an exaggeration. She woke up screaming at me, and I was so crazy. But she came down and fucking drilled the shit out of it. Took her to her shop, guns on the wall, just yeah. badass chick. And that was probably the worst and best thing ever. I mean, yeah. And then got stuck in the road. Good time with all she, didn't, she didn't rape us on the price. That's cool. So, you guys got an album out? We do. Tell us about the album. Um, what about, about the writing process? Go we'll buy it. it. Yeah. Go we'll buy the shit. We'll oppression. It's all. out. You know, we worked hard on it. You yeah, know, and uh, bringing yeah. Steve Evans in, you know, pre production, everything just kind of hit on a whole other cylinder, you know. And being the first album where Drew was really uh, writing it, you know, and getting involved and, you know, re recording the whole album. And, you know, us being together a lot longer, you know. Yeah. Just, it was exciting, you know, we couldn't wait to do this album. And like I said, to Steve Evans just uh, accelerated it, so, you know, the fans are buying it more than any Inside record before, and we're playing half of it live, it's just going to great. The crowds are insane to it, they're, they're enjoying the record, and it, it's just uh, growing, growing by each week, and that's good. Uh, I have to get this thing to share. I told him I was going to get this to share. Well, I brought bring it on. So... There's rumors about you and the Phoenix scene. Oh my. About. Okay. I'm not gonna go too much into rumors. Okay. But you're known as kind of an asshole. I am known as an asshole. Why do you think that is the album? Because he's an asshole. Because he's an asshole. Because I'm the nice guy and we need an asshole. Yeah. Good cop, bad cop. He's an asshole. No. He's you know okay. what? Here he's the it nicest is. person. It, here, here it is, man. You know what? If you don't know me, that's just your perception. Once you get to know me, you're still an asshole. Okay. Still, oh, no, sorry. You think it's because you voice your opinion? That is exactly know. it. To people who don't want to take I love that. that. Yes. I love that he does right? that. Exactly. So, I all you them. Phoenix musicians that love to run your trap, say it to my face or get your panties out of a knot. That's why he's touring the world now. Because right? he tells exactly. people how it is. Man. He's the one who uh, Scoreboard, son. I love Mr. Him. Rockstar. Security. No, he's no, security. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he is before it began a rock star. That's what's so great about him. It's not something he just puts on because it's cool. It's who he is. Look at how sexy I just yeah. like to get him. I love Elmer. But he is yes. an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last question. You know, this I heard that. You guys, what do you guys think of Glasgow? Oh, it's so Glasgow's Tell her about our drinking experience. We got to go fucking yeah. drink the finest. We got to finest. drink, you know, the liquor of the land in the land. That was iron brew, right? Huh? You had iron brew. I did. I did. We did have iron brew, the national soda of Scotland. Yeah. Not, have haggis, though. I didn't. We didn't get any haggis. We got ripped out of that. Yeah, and deep fried Mars bars and this, that, on that. Yeah. But you yes, know, the, the show was fucking packed. You know, we had one with the cancer bats where it was like they were loaded wrong, so our crowd was like four people, but it still was awesome. And then we came back with a uh, soul blanket pair and sold out debauchery. So two really cool experiences. You know, both different. Cool. You guys got good pot now, so that's an exciting thing for all of us. No, it's alright, man. You gotta let it out. You gotta let it out. No, it's no. gonna be if you talk I about it. I got my rec card. I'm good. <laughs> See, yeah, that's PC. No. Yeah. That's cataract. Good you can't not talk about that with insight. Yeah, yeah. we're, we're yeah. like the Cypress Hill of Metal. Alright, good. Alright, so thank you for having an interview with us. Thank you. We know rock oppression in stores now. Buy them shits. I'm Check an asshole. Check him out on Facebook. <laughs> He's an asshole. <laughs>